It's the 1920 Delage CO2 entered by Albert Fellner all the way from Austria. On the terrace of the noble hotel Villa Desta on the western shore of Lake Como, visitors drank cool champagne, nipple thick olives and salted almonds, while the most expensive cars of the world passed over the grunting gravel between the coffee tables and Lake Como. The showroom of the automotive beauties of the Concorso d'Eleganza Villa d'Este. Highlight of an automotive weekend of the highest class. Now if cars could talk, the next motor car you're about to see would have a BMW insieme a Dominic Fischlin. Stanno dando i premi di classe e di parte. 87 years ago that was so on Lake Como. The proud owners of beautiful vehicles met and showed their treasures. A car which was at Villa Desta now for the second time after its appearance in 1935 won the desire of Rule Copra d'Oro 2016. The Lancia Asturias Series 2, built in 1933, persuaded the audience. 18 months after the car had been produced, it received his exciting body of Castagna. The beautiful metal dress had previously adorned an Alfa Romeo AC. Benito Mussolini's son Vittorio ordered the conversion of the streamlined Lancia, so it could be used henceforth in races. The 2.6-litre engine was replaced at the time by a V8 engine, which is still built in today. In August 1935, the Lancia started at the 24 hours race from Pescara. Five weeks later, it appeared the first time at the Concorso Villa d'Este. The jury didn't have an easy job in their choice and spent many hours trying to inspect vehicle by vehicle. Authenticity, originality, functionality and history were important. The pre-war coaches, showing particularly good as the personal taste of a privileged client has been implemented into their cars in 1920 and 1930, was presented in Class A. ...which was in many ways provoked by the Wall Street crash of October 1929. And in this new era, manufacturers had to be more creative. They had to make cars more creative. Perhaps not of austerity, but of rationale. This is the car that Bentley Motors built in the mid-1930s. Bentley, the original company, had gone bankrupt in 19 kilometers to be with us today. And now we're upping the tempo. Pre-1945 supercars, the fun... The supercars that were built before 1945 were often technically sophisticated and had a new design. They had a single goal to give the owners a magical feeling. And now, from Forsyth with the Austro Daimler. Yes, the car is winning the... 135, il fondatore della Scuderia Parioli. E questa vettura è stata una delle star qui a Villa d'Este nel lontano 1935. E torna oggi... The Class C vehicles belonged to the special treat for connoisseurs. These high-class vehicles were produced after the war. Luxury and creativity united them. Per il, come si dice, guardaroba della signora. Eh, il baule è veramente grande. Il baule, il baule è enorme. A pensare che una macchina che fa 5 metri e mezzo abbia posto per solo due persone. One of the most unusual vehicles was the Rolls Royce Silverclad from 1958 with tail fins, which many US cars would have in white. The car made history as the Honeymoon Express because the trunk is so big that a wealthy wedding couple could load the luggage for a honeymoon for several weeks. Now take a, take a moment to drink in all the details of this motor car. Look at the headlight treatment. And more importantly, when it passes, just look at the tail treatment of this motor car. 
If you don't think that American styling was fashionable in the 1950s, this car tells you otherwise. And now, similar period, but all the way from Germany, Heiko and Ilke Seekamp's BMW 503, the German industrialist motor car of choice of the 1960s, Hartmut Ebing's Fassel Vega Fassel 2. Good afternoon and welcome to Verdeste Hartmut. Small missiles, you could call the powerful compact cars from the 1960s, who competed in Class D. Even insiders hardly know the Fiat Moretti 850 Sportiva SS, built in 1968, the so-called Baby Dino. The 1968 Fiat Moretti 850 Sportiva SS. Benvenuto a Vila d'Este. To be differently than others, that was the aim of the vehicles in Class E. During the 1950s and 1960s, it broke in motorsports to go new ways. And now all the way from Spain, a car from the same year of the Jaguar, but it's the Ferrari 225S Spider of 1952, brought to us by... Designers and engineers conjured up breathtaking vehicles such as the Maserati 200SI or the unusual Porsche 550 RS, which carried the first spoiler at the 1000 km race at the Nürburgring and was disqualified for that. Actors, dictators and producers, the car of the stars are popular collector's vehicles. Memories of Clark Gable awoke at the sight of his Jaguar XK120, built in 1952. A dual gear was the grand entrance of Ronald Reagan, Frank Sinatra and Dean Martin. Here, the car of the Rat Pack, all the way from the USA by way of Turin. Marcello Mastroianni on a Ferrari 330 GTC, Steve McQueen on a Ferrari 275 GTP Flash 4, and Clint Eastwood on a Ferrari 365 GT Slash 4 Berlinetta Boxer, liked it also sporty. The GTs from 1950 to 1975 were a class of its own. Powerful machines to accommodate some luggage on the Grand Tour. Now Giotto Pizzorini is one of the legendary figures. The 1970s and 1980s produced vehicles which perfectly reflected the period. The Lamborghini Miura P400 SV, for example, which is celebrating its 50th anniversary. The Lamborghini Aton, which by all needs pervades its wedge-shaped design. Heroes of a special kind were the rally cars. Unusual for a concours d'élégance, but still popular with the audience. So, let's wait. Let's see this one. But everybody knows it, of course, as a minute. Now, the 
He's either a very, very cautious driver or he's preserving our gravel, which is very thoughtful of him. And here is the car that toppled in off its perch. The Lanchas Dronatos. The last of our cars today in the historic parade before we unveil the winner of the Fundador of Grandeste. This was the car that we Like every year, the Concorso de Liganza was also staged for the most beautiful concept cars and prototypes. Some visitors started dreaming at the sight of these exclusive classic cars of the day after tomorrow. <laughs> 